these are government employees sitting there and bjp workers these government employees were told that they have to mandatorily report at bakshi stadium at 5 in the morning and if they fail to do so they would be thrown out of the jobs so far as employees are concerned if some employees have been deputed there for vip duty please please don't no absolutely don't, no please don't try to please don't try to make a mountain out of a molehill let's stop calling it peace enthusiasm of locals it was an employee it was a staged crowd that only had government employees at least till last year they at least used to promise statehood diya nahi but kam se kam bolte the this in this rally the prime minister did not even talk about statehood we are running a social media campaign using full speed broadband 5g there is no comms gag there is no a uh, restriction on the mobile tower so this shows us the massive improvement in the security situation over the last whatever 10 12 years this normalcy exists when the bjp wants to promote a message of peace and say look everything is hunky dory but suddenly this normalcy does not exist when we say that people of jammu and kashmir have not been allowed to cast their votes votes for last 10 years but election is not matlab election ka kya kare hum log jab tak normalcy nahi hogi jab tak peace nahi hoga and we've seen in the last 5 years since august 2019 32000 government jobs including jnk bank or jobs have been fulfilled another 32000 youth have received skills training under the himal scheme the bjp government is so scared of facing the people who should be the first primary witnesses to change then who are you telling that there is change फिर बीजेपी सरकार लोगों से इतना डरती क्यों है जब इतनी चेंज हो गई ओके लेट शैला रिस्पॉन्ड टू दैट शैला वन लास्ट पॉइंट आई वुड लाइक टू इफरा यू स्पीक द लॉन्गेस्ट एंड देन यू कंप्लेन दैट यू नॉट अलाउड टू स्पीक दैट्स रियली अनफेयर has the prime minister been able to deliver on the promise of a naya kashmir joining us on this broadcast ranbir singh patania spokesperson of jammu and kashmir bjp was an mla in the state when it did have an active assembly with us also is shehla rashid chora policy consultant and researcher irfa jan joins us social media and digital platforms in charge of the national congress i want to go across to irfa first because the level of enthusiasm that we saw is being highlighted by the bjp as evidence of the fact that jammu and kashmir now is seeing a new dawn of development the fact that corruption is down the fact that infrastructure projects are actually being executed they're saying look at the rally look at the enthusiasm evidence of the fact that there is a new kashmir that is rising irfa jan well you are discounting the evidence that umar abdullah sahab and national conference has put forward where thousands of these people who've actually attended the rally turned out to be government employees in fact the list that umar sahab has already shared on his twitter account runs into thousands these are government employees sitting there and bjp workers these government employees were told that they have to mandatorily report at bakshi stadium at 5 in the morning and if they fail to do so they would be thrown out of the jobs you had the daily wagers and the anganwadi workers who were forced to go into this rally and the bjp workers so let's stop calling it peace enthusiasm of locals it was an employee it was a staged crowd that only had government employees to begin with now coming to the promises that you're saying the irony of the situation is that the promises that the bjp government used to make to the people of jammu and kashmir not that they acted on any of those promises any time they've stopped making those promises also they they did not i mean at least till last year they at least used to promise statehood diya nahi but kam se kam bolte the this in this rally the prime minister did not even talk about statehood something that they promised on the floor of the parliament again and again they did not talk about okay. assembly okay let elections. ranbir patania respond to both your points one that these were many of them were government employees brought in mandatorily and secondly that there was no talk about statehood which is a promise that the bjp made a promise she claims you've now forgotten about ranveer pathania yes uh, rahul thanks uh, thanks and a very good evening to everybody on board a, if in one single sentence we have to sum up kashmir this is as good as the shakespearean epithet in hamlet an era ends and a new era begins so 5th of august 2019 marks the beginning of a new and a golden era in the history of jammu and kashmir better security environment nobody will dispute it bigger industrial investment 2 crore tourists and uh, no stone pelting 
bigger industrial uh, bigger employment pushes also and first of all dil ki duri aur delhi ki duri it has reduced so far as my learned counterpart has been submitting first of all i strongly dispute though it is for the administration to say for the first time you were, you have seen that people running and beaming up in crowds voluntarily on the streets of kashmir just to join pradhan mantri ji's rally which is unprecedented in the history of kashmir earlier jawaharlal nehru addressed a rally some uh, some people were telling me some in uh, late 50s he led a shikara rally and people came out voluntarily people came and uh, secondly so far as employees are concerned if some employees have been deputed there for vip duty please please don't no absolutely don't, no please don't try to please don't try to make a mountain out of a molehill okay uh, shaila rashid where do you no, come no, out because no, you've no, been on both sides of the political of fence in kashmir uh, what do you make of a the charges that are being leveled by the opposition that these are government employees who've largely been brought in and the second point about the prime minister not speaking about the promise of separate statehood for jammu and kashmir uh, shaila rashid uh so first of all uh, i will address your point but let me first uh, sort of get out of this debate in 2011 when i was a college student i remember that uh, the the honorable prime minister at that time dr manmohan singh he visited kashmir valley and we had to face a total comms gag there was no internet no sms the mobile towers were just they just vanished because the security situation was such so today the biggest takeaway from this rally is that a prime minister is visiting kashmir valley itself not jammu not ladakh kashmir and we are running a social media campaign using full speed broadband 5g there is no comms gag there is no uh, restriction on the mobile towers so this shows us the massive improvement in the security situation over the last whatever 10 12 years that has happened so i think that is the first takeaway and as the the honorable lg saab mentioned in his speech and i am speaking as someone who's been concerned about human rights he said a very important point he said ki aaj kisi bhi maa ko apne bete ke matlab uske samne apne bete ko usko aankhein nahi khoni padti usko apna vision nahi khona padta pellets ki wajah se so i think he touched upon a very important point we've seen we've come out of an era of horrors you know where youth were facing pellet guns there was this cycle of violence and uh, today we see that that era is gone so okay. is it if i can respond to this one the era of violence all the stone pelting the pellets being fired young kids being blinded that's not happening there is more tourism than there has been a greater sense the things are calm they're not as restive and tense as they were earlier and the fact that uh, internet wasn't shut down people were free to whatsapp message call whereas in previous instances when leaders came from delhi they had to shut kashmir down you see the thing what we are facing right now is schrodinger's normalcy this normalcy exists when the bjp wants to promote a message of peace and say look everything is hunky dory but suddenly this normalcy does not exist when we say that people of jammu and kashmir have not been allowed to cast their vote votes for last 10 years the last time we had a state election in jammu and kashmir rahul saab was in 2014 when we tell the bjp government please even if you hate the national conference that is okay let the people of jammu and kashmir cast their ballot they say sorry uh, situ- security situation theek nahi hai but when the propaganda has to happen suddenly the security situation is shaila so rashid how do you respond to this if things are as hunky dory as you say they are why is in the bjp government calling for elections then let there be elections let people decide ifra you've spoken i'm trying to be as fair as possible we also want to keep it sharp i come back to you for more later shaila rashid let there be elections no let see i can't speak for the government of india or for the bjp but the supreme court of india has already directed the government and the as far as i know the government has filed an affidavit that we will hold इलेक्शन तो हो जाएगा इलेक्शन बट इलेक्शन इज नॉट मतलब इलेक्शन का क्या करें हम लोग जब तक नॉर्मल सी नहीं होगी जब तक पीस नहीं होगा एंड वीव सीन इन द लास्ट फाइव ईयर्स सिंस ऑगस्ट टू थाउजेंड एंड नाइनटीन थर्टी टू थाउजेंड गवर्नमेंट जॉब इंक्लूडिंग जे एंड के बैंक जॉब हैव बीन फुलफिल्ड अनादर थर्टी टू थाउजेंड यूथ हैव रिसीव स्किल्स ट्रेनिंग अंडर द हिमाय स्कीम वन थाउजेंड एंड ट्वेंटी एट सर्विस गवर्नमेंट सर्विस हैव बीन डिजिटलाइज सो पीपल डोंट हैव टू सप्लीकेट बिफोर अ ब्यूरोक्रैट और अ पॉलिटिशियन to avail of government services we've seen 100% saturation in schemes like ujala ujwala which is very important to the women you know who have to collect firewood 
to cook, uh, old age pension, disability pension, all of those things. We've been the most successful. Uh, I mean, today someone in the rally in a video, he actually said that पहले जब यहाँ कोई बीमार पड़ता था, तो उसको अपना घर बेचना पड़ता था इलाज कराने के लिए. But now, now we have a general health insurance, which is you know. Which is something that okay. you have in all. So now, if I respond to what you're hearing from uh, Shaila, because I've been coming number to Kashmir one, for many one, years, the fact is that a lot of money was pilfered in corruption. It used to come from the center, was never deployed. The government can argue corruption is down, may not have been eliminated, but is significantly down. Money coming from Delhi is actually being spent in Shrinagar. Absolutely not. Corruption has gone up, and we not only see local corruption in the. a bjp administration we also see corporate Ill Ill corp corporate corruption taking roots in jammu and kashmir which had never happened that's number one the old age pensions and widow pensions that national conference government and our governments had continued the bjp has discontinued those old age and handicapped pensions coming to the tourism numbers that you're talking of the tourism numbers national conference used to get around 25 lakh tourists that's exactly the number bjp is getting at this point except what they doing is they now fudging the tourism numbers by counting yatris as tourists and saying amarnath yatris or tourists ko mila ke ek number present kar rahe hain again coming to your security situation you know you saying that the security situation is gone better except in areas of peer panjal areas that until the abrogation of 370 used to be terror free we now see they become hubs of terror you never heard of terror attacks in jammu region you now have terror attacks happening in jammu okay ranbir patani respond to this the fact that in the upper reaches of the peer panjal there are now terra hideouts there have been attacks so it's not as if this naya kashmir is entirely peaceful terror attacks continue they happened in the past they happening even now rahul i uh, i said earlier also that no disputes over it no double opinion over it that the security scenario in jammu and kashmir has considerably improved but if we are not saying that we have created it as a ter terrorism free jammu and kashmir so everybody the people and particularly the tourists who who upload their selfies from polo market of kashmir at 11 or at 12 at the dead of the night this itself speaks of the improved security scenario my uh, very respectful submission with regard to these political parties whose narrative whose viewpoint whose political approach whose political outreach has absolutely been rejected by the people of jammu and kashmir dens of uh, and uh, no but if things are as well as they as you are suggesting no but just the patani if things are as good as you are suggesting why yes. have we not had elections in jammu and kashmir so far absolutely so i am i am i am coming to it i am coming to it after 5th of 2019 there was a there was a allegation jammu and kashmir that gerrymandering on political basis was being done jammu having bigger areas and bigger populations was denied of the political justice after 5th of august 2019 there was a delimitation commission which was set up in jammu and kashmir it virtually took 3 or 4 years this commission to complete its stupendous task ultimately this report was ultimately accepted by the bharat sarkar by the parliament of india and thereafter a very very detailed voter revision and now the bharat sarkar has virtually sworn before the honorable supreme court and the honorable supreme court has also deposed So this is not like that between. So if they have committed that there will be elections before September, and the government says we'll stick to that commitment, and it's only now a few months away. Uh, yes, the government was trying very hard to run away from elections as they have been doing for past five years, and it happened to be the Supreme Court that forced the government. to conduct an election. And we depose before the Supreme not, Court. Sorry, please put the fact straight, madam. Okay, let us speak, Mr. Patania. Let us speak. It was the Supreme please. Court of India please, please. that. it was the supreme court of india that forced this government to conduct an election and say that yes you will conduct an election and yet at this point we do not know whether this government will still continue to run away from elections or not ranmeer pathania makes another point he says national conference has been rejected by the people of jammu and kashmir ranveer sahab it is not national conference running away from elections we know who it is in the recent ladakh elections that took place national conference and our allies we won 23 out of 26 kargil election in the kargil Pargil autonomous election. hill council in the kargil autonomous hill council we won 23 out of 26 seats 